Good morning, day 58 in our series 2 to 5, and this morning, I thought I was done. Not done, not done completely, but done with the scene that I was working on. One I was working on yesterday and was trying to finish up this morning. And like I always do when I get finished with it, uh, with a scene, I'll, I'll go ahead and watch it from start to finish, right? So... Looking good. Wrapped things up this morning. Just had a, a couple more angles I wanted to, to put in there. And um, watch from start to finish. And it gets to like the uh, second or third cut before the end. And I see this. Did you cut that? Ready? Ready one more time. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Ugh, and it wasn't, it wasn't like right at the beginning or right at the end to where maybe I could just slide it over one way or the other. Of course, right in the middle. And so I've spent like the last hour just trying to, because I had to reconfigure. I couldn't use that one at all, so I had to go back and and um, basically put that whole last section together again using different different uh, angles. Oh, yeah. That one just snuck up on me. Um, so, anyway, I got it. But, man, just like a split second. And here, uh, it's an hour. It's a freaking hour. <sighs> but, we got it. I mean, it's it's just as good. I just, had to, I just had to piece it together a little bit different way. Like, I mean, as long as you've got enough footage, I mean, you're... You're fine. Um, at least, at least from a, from a technical perspective, you're fine. Like you can put it together. Some of those, um, you know, I th they do lose a little something. Honestly, they lose a little something because uh, you you want to put it together the way that, like, emotionally, like if there's something going on, um, you know, and you want to you want to see somebody's reaction uh, while somebody else is talking, but yet somebody else is looking at the at the camera then you sometimes you've got to flip it around and you know the person that's talking you may not see their face you may their back may be to the camera because somebody else is is, is glancing at you know straight into the camera so it's frustrating um it doesn't happen too often um but sometimes you know you just got to make those those calls so anyway but we got it fixed and I'm done with that scene, and I'm going to work on the writing a little bit. And that's what I'm doing. Okay. Man. Well, I thought I was going to be working on a new card this morning for uh, the Mona Lisa. And I will be working on a new scene. But, like I told you before, the last scene that I wrote was one that I had added in because the one prior to that um, kind of went a little bit different direction so I had to come up with sort of a, a an intermediate scene between the one prior to that and this one here and now that I've written this intermediate scene this one still like this one I still need this one but I still feel like there's another another one missing. So like the one I just wrote happens during the day. I feel like there's there's a little something else that needs to happen at night. And then we get to this one here. So I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't make sense to go from the one that I just wrote to this one because it's a it's one of them is a, is a day scene like preparing for in, in this case she's like preparing for this modeling competition and she she just the one I just wrote was one where she's getting her dress and then this one goes has her go straight to the competition well obviously that's not gonna work because she's not gonna go uh, pick up this dress I mean it's not like a like a wedding type thing where she's already gotten fitted and all that stuff. Uh, there, there, there's another little night scene that needs to take place there, like the night before. So, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but I know it's not this. 
So, and the first friggin' act is gonna be like 85 pages by the time I get done with it. But either way, it's those transitions, man. I heard a, a, a screenwriter talk one time about uh, yeah, the guy was asking him like, "What's the most important thing? Is it you know?" There's always this 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 uh, conversation about is it plot? Is it character? And he said, "It's transitions." That's the most important part of writing a, a screenplay is the transitions. You need to get them from one scene to the next scene seamlessly. I've never forgotten. That was one of the first podcasts I ever listened to. Uh, I think the guy's name was Stephen Gagan. He had written um, uh, Syriana. Syriana? Yeah, I think so. Um, anyway, it's a super good podcast. But, uh, but yeah, he said transitions. So, and this transition just doesn't work, so I need to come up with another scene. So. All right, finished up the writing this morning. Yes, my head's cold again. Um, writing went pretty good. Uh, I did figure out the scene that I wanted. I look like Yoda. Check this out. That's cool, right? I'm not even a big Star Wars fan at all, but that is freaking sweet. I didn't even really doing on purpose uh, anyway um sorry that's distracting it's distracting to me to see myself i should be giving like these real pearls of wisdom with that sort of get up on but i'm not going to i'm just going to tell you what i did anyway i digress um finished up the writing figured out the scene that i wanted to uh to write to put in there pretty short scene um but i hopefully it kind of makes that connection between the last one i wrote and um, the next card that I have up there too. So just a, a word to the wise, like I'm beginning to I go with instinct more. I know we've talked a little bit about this, but like more and more, I'm just getting more reliant on like if there's something sort of gnawing, like there's something there. You need to figure out what that is. Um, like. Like, if I were to, I could have probably made the last scene and the next one on this card work. Somehow sort of made that transition there, but it would have been a little sloppy and bumpy. And I think I would have, when I went back through it the second time, I would have been like, yeah, something's, something's still not right there. Um, so whether you're editing or you're writing or... Uh, whatever just i mean making uh, career decisions or or relationship decisions or whatever um if there's there's something sort of that pit in your stomach where you're just like something doesn't feel right or uh, on the flip side like something's really exciting for you and like I, th I think i need to check this out just go with it i'm beginning to uh, figure out my instincts or i don't know if they're getting better or if i'm just paying more attention to them but either way, they're they're there for a reason, and um, I think it's just in in your best interest in mind if we we start uh, start paying a little more attention to them. So anyway, done for today. Um, tomorrow, what I'm going to be doing is um, exactly the same thing I was doing today. So tomorrow, two.